So what about the hair mineral analysis? I use a laboratory called Trace Elements and they check for 36 different minerals. Here you have your nutrient minerals like calcium, magnesium, copper, zinc, etc. Here you have your toxic minerals, mercury, aluminum, cadmium, arsenic. Here you have some trace minerals. On the back they give you some ratios, significant ratios, for nutritional minerals and toxic ratios. So let's see what it all means here. You should be in the reference range, that's in the white here. If you're up above the reference range, you have a little bit too much in your system and it's showing up in your hair. If you're below, then you might be deficient in that mineral. And it goes the same down here with the uh, trace. Now in the toxic minerals category, you want to be down at the bottom. This white area at the very bottom is where people usually show no symptoms. Once you get above that into the light pink, you might have some symptoms. And then when you get further up into this darker shaded area, you're probably experiencing symptoms of heavy metal toxicity. This person had lead off the chart, cadmium, very high, and uranium. You look over in the uh, toxic ratios, it, it's uh, very interesting that certain nutritional minerals, if we're low in them, will create a vacuum for us to hold on to toxic minerals that look similar to them. For instance, if we don't have enough selenium, we'll usually hold mercury. If we don't have enough zinc, we'll often hold on to cadmium. So how do you take this test? You get a little kit from me and it comes with a form that you fill out. There's little uh, check marks where I need you to fill out the necessary information. And then you get a hair weight scale. You fold it on those two little lines that say fold here and fold there. And then it becomes a fulcrum scale or a teeter-totter. It tells you to place hair in this box, in this little upper portion. And when it's on a level table, as you cut the hair and put it in that box, it flips over. And it's only three tenths of one gram. When you have enough hair in there, you take this little envelope that comes with the kit. Of course, you fill out your name and your shampoo with little X's are. Dump it in. Close that up. And then you take your completed form with your payment, unless you're already paid. Put it in the envelope provided in the kit. Put on your stamp, your return address, send it off to the lab. Now make sure that I have your contact information because the laboratory, Trace Elements in Addison, Texas, they're going to return your report to me. And what I do is I write you up a report that tells you, oh, if you're low in zinc, like this person is, raw pumpkin seeds are a great source of zinc. So you notice they're low in zinc and they're high in cadmium. You get that zinc level up, your body will start throwing off the cadmium. But I'll also tell you what every symptom might possibly be, and different people get dis different symptoms, that will be associated with uh, excess heavy metals or deficiencies in nutritional minerals or even excesses in nutritional minerals. This is a very complete test. You see hair keeps a very accurate um, report of what minerals were flowing in your bloodstream and the amount of time it took the hair to grow. We take about an inch and a half of hair. We take it from the nape of the neck closest to the scalp. If your hair is dyed with a chemical dye, you take it from another part of your body. If you use henna on your hair, that's okay, because henna won't put minerals in that will throw the report off. So what they do is they take that hair at the laboratory, they dissolve it in an acid solution, it's a liquid, and it goes in this very large machine called an atomic spectrometer. 
and they shoot a laser through it and analyzes how many parts per million of each mineral are in that little solution of your dissolved hair. And that spits out this report that goes back to me. And once again, like I said, I write up a very detailed report specific for healthy eaters, particularly people who want to eat raw foods. Because when the laboratory writes a report, if you got that uh, report that they offer, they'll often tell you to eat many uh, foods that many of us consider unhealthy or unethical to eat. So I give you only the best, purest, greatest, <laughs> most wonderful foods to eat to balance out your mineral levels. Now let's say you have too much mercury, for instance. I'll mention that you can eat cilantro. Typical garden variety cilantro pulls mercury out of the system. Or you can get chlorella, that dark green algae, which will also pull it out. If you have a lot, like this person, you're having too many symptoms, I might recommend some type of a chelation. I'm really big on suppository chelation. It's a low dose chelation. It's not like getting the IV drip that can be hard on the kidneys. It's maybe a quarter as much as an IV drip. It costs a fraction of the price. You don't have to go to the doctor to sit there and have a needle in your arm. You just put it up there before you go to sleep at night. The next morning, you go to the bathroom, heavy metals come out. You do that every second or third day, and it works really well at pulling out the minerals. If you're doing some type of a suppository chelation, I'll recommend some type of a zinc supplement and eating some sea vegetables which are high in minerals because the way that the chelation works is it pulls out the heavy metals by atomic weight so the heaviest ones go first but there are also some nutritional minerals like zinc that are heavy so it can pull out some nutritional minerals along with it so you put those back in while you're on the chelation process. Well I hope you've uh, learned something and if you have more questions go ahead and email me uh, Craig B. Summers at gmail.com or Raw Foods Bible, just like the book, at rawfoods.com. Thank you.